In this video, we're going to check out Sirius XM operation on your Pioneer Nex in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may have buttons on the side, or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Nex models. AVH1300 Nex. AVH1330 Nex. MVH2300 Nex. AVH2300 Nex. AVH2330 Nex. AVH3300 Nex. Please note, uh, in this video, I'll be using the optional SXV300 tuner available from SiriusXM. All right, so after I've installed the tuner to the back of the uh, to the in-dash receiver, first thing I want to do is switch to the Sirius XM source, and I can do that a couple of different ways. First is I can use the drop-down menu here, and we can find Sirius XM. We can do it that way, or we could also hit the home button here, and open the AV screen, and find Sirius XM. On the SiriusXM screen, there's a lot of information here. Let's go through some of the things that are displayed on the screen right now. First is our radio station presets along the side here, and we can open the radio station preset window, and we can see the presets we have available. Right now, we're on SiriusXM band number one, and we have six radio station presets available to us. Uh, if we touch the button here, we can switch to SiriusXM2. That's six more radio station presets available. Uh, touch the button again, we go to SiriusXM number three, for six more available and in this particular setup we also have Sirius XM's uh, featured content and the featured content changes on a regular basis uh, that is based upon what Sirius XM choose to send to you so we'll touch that one more time and go back around to Sirius XM number one now if I want I can uh, I'm on the real jazz channel right here if I slide this along I can check my uh, my presets on Sirius XM 2 or on Sirius XM 3 and if I wanted to, I could choose one of those. And you'll see that we immediately jump over to Sirius XM3 and go out to that track. So we're going to go back to number one and choose a radio station. So how do we set a radio station in into a preset? It's very simple. All we need to do is tune in a radio station. And here we have the arrow keys up here. And we're on channel number 74 right now. We press uh, the arrow up, we go to 75 and we press the arrow up again we go to 76 or 77 so if I want to set number 77 as one of my presets I'll just press and hold number 5 for a couple of seconds and now number 77 becomes preset number 5 if I want to directly input a channel number I can do that by touching the number and we'll put in uh, channel number 24 here and press enter that'll jump directly to channel number 24 and as you can see, we have album art on the screen. This is album art that is broadcast by Sirius XM. If I want to search for additional channels, I'm going to touch the search function button over here. And this opens up my category list. And you can see a number of different categories that are available here. We have all channels, pop, rock, and whatever you like to listen to. Uh, we'll open the jazz standards and classical category. And uh, when we do that, you see the individual channels here. And these are the names of the channels, Seriously Sinatra, Broadway, Bluesville, Metropolitan Opera, Symphony Hall, and so forth. Now, I have the Information button up here will give me some additional information about each channel. If I touch the I button here, I see what's being played, uh, the artist that's being played on each channel. Touch the Information button again, and I see the particular track that is being played, uh, again, on each of these channels. I'll touch the Information button again to roll back around to the channel number and uh, back around to the channel name. I can also choose to scan through available channels. And if I want to hear any one of these channels, just press the play button. Along the bottom here, I have my traffic and weather information. Now, if I touch this, I am getting traffic and weather from Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. But I can change that uh, city information if I want to, to a number of different cities that are available. We'll take a look at that. Uh, I'll go into the settings here. 
and I want to go to the toolbox and my AV source settings and we're going to go to the Sirius XM settings and we'll scroll down to the bottom here and check the city list and here I can select any of the cities that are listed here to get traffic and weather information you can see I have Philadelphia selected right now I can deselect it or select it again we'll hit the X to go back out to Sirius XM so let's take a look now at the replay mode on Sirius XM. I have a replay button over here. Uh, now I'm on Sirius XM band number one and I have my six radio station presets that are available here. Uh, I'm going to close up that window and I'm going to touch the replay button here. Now what replay does is uh, it buffers the current six radio station presets into the system and you can see that the buffer has been operating here now for 29 minutes 24 seconds and as we sit here it will continuously uh, buffer that information and here I have my play and pause function fast forward and rewind I can press and hold fast forward or press and hold rewind uh, to move through the information on the buffer now if I want to go back to live music I can just touch the live button over here and that skips directly back to uh, live music um, now I have two functions here tune scan and tune mix if I touch the tune scan button what will happen is the system will scan through the songs that have been recorded in the buffer on the current group of six radio station presets you'll hear one song play for a few seconds and then it will jump back in time in the buffer and, and play the next song for a few seconds again back in time in the buffer and play the next song for a few seconds and it will continue to do that until you touch the play button so if I hear something, if I hear if if I hear a song come up on the screen that I would like to hear the rest of that song, all I have to do is touch play, and now we're playing that song, uh, listening to it from the buffer. So if I go back and touch the replay button here, you'll see that we dropped from about 30 minutes in the buffer all the way back to about nine minutes in the buffer. That's where we are now. Now if I touch the hard key here. You'll see that I have fast forward and rewind buttons that come up. This allows me to skip backwards by whole songs. And I have my play and pause function available here as well. Here's my dimmer function where I can dim the head unit or switch it back up to its full brightness and I can get immediately out to my settings. If I stop touching the buttons down here for a few seconds, that sub display will disappear. If you want to go back to live music, just touch the live button. If I touch the tune mix button here, the system will play back songs that are stored in the buffer for a mix of music from my favorite radio station presets. To switch off tune mix, just touch the tune mix button again. Let's take a moment to check out a couple of Sirius XM settings. So while I'm on the Sirius XM source, I'm going to touch the gears up here and I want to go to the toolbox and at the toolbox I want to choose AV source settings. Now under AV source settings, let's go to Sirius XM settings and the first thing we see is tune start and we can switch tune start on or off. I like to have tune start switched on. What that means is that uh, every time I choose a radio station preset, the song that I'm listening to will start from the beginning. Now this operates after about five to ten minutes of operating the vehicle and from that point moving forward every time I choose a radio station preset the song will start from the beginning. Next up is our parental control. There is some adult content on Sirius XM. If you would like to lock out that adult content you can do that right here by entering a code uh, and I'm gonna back out of this. Next up we see our featured favorites. Remember we have Sirius XM Band 1, 2, and 3 and we also have a favorites channel. That uh, featured favorites channel is sent to you by Sirius XM. If you don't want to get that information from Sirius XM you can choose to switch it off. If you have it switched on occasionally once a month or so you will see a message when you start the vehicle that says uh, the featured bands have been updated on your featured favorites and you just say OK to that. You can choose to have that switched on or off as well. Let's scroll down a little here. Next up we have Sports Flash and with Sports Flash this is information about your favorite sports teams. You can choose to switch that on or off. If you have Sports Flash switched on you can go into your Sports Flash list and here you can select some teams. So we will edit the list and choose our favorite teams. When you're done with that we'll go back up. 
And finally, here is our city list. And this is the city list for traffic and weather. And effectively, you have a radio station preset for traffic and weather. Previously, we showed you uh, that, and we uh, chose Philadelphia. We'll go back up here. And finally, we have the option to uh, reset the Sirius XM tuner. And this will work when we are on a source other than Sirius XM. So in order to do that, we are going to choose a different source here. We'll choose the radio. We'll go back into the settings, AV source settings, Sirius XM settings, scroll down to the bottom, and here you can see that we can reset Sirius XM tuner.